Now let's move on to exercise 2.3. Here p of x and g of x are given. So we are going to divide and find the quotient and the remainder. So p of x will be written inside the bracket. So I'm writing it here. And the divisor is x square. Ah, here what we have to do is we have to firstly arrange the equation according to the coefficient of the x. So this will be the first one and then this and then this. We have to arrange the equation according to the power of the x. So x square will be the first one because it has the highest power and then x and then constant term. So we are writing it there. Okay, now I have to put a, num a term here. When that term is written here, these both will be multiplied to give this answer. To find what to write there, we can also do by dividing these both. So when x power 4 divided by x power 2, it gives x square. So this will be written here. So x square into x square is x power 4 minus x into x square is minus x cube and uh, plus x square going to change the signs so plus will become minus this will become plus and this will become minus x power 4 x power 4 get cancelled we don't have any x cube term so it will be written as it is x cube and we have minus 3x square and plus x square so minus 3 plus minus 1 is minus 4x square now i can bring the 4x down now again I have to uh, divide this and this. So x cube divided by x square will get cancelled and give me x. So plus x. So when I multiply it, it gives my x cube minus x square plus x. Now I will change the sign. It becomes minus plus and minus. These th two get cancelled. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. So minus 3x square. My plus 4 minus 1 is plus 3x and I will bring this 5 down. Now when I divide these both I get minus 3x square divided by x square. x square x square get cancelled and I get minus 3. So when I substitute minus 3 minus 3x square minus into minus plus 3x plus into minus minus 3. Now I have to change the signs. So these two get cancelled, these two get cancelled. So 5 plus 3 is 8. So the quotient is x square plus x minus 3 and the remainder is 8. Here I didn't uh, arrange this one. So you, we may get confused in between. So when you are now left out, we, we, when you don't have that x cube term or x square term, you can add it as 0 x cube, 0 x square. So here x power 4 plus 0 x cube plus 0 x square minus 5 x plus 6. Here I have to arrange it as minus x square plus 0 x plus 2. Now similarly we are going to divide this first term and this term so it becomes x by x power 4 by x square minus x square. So square and the square gets cancelled and we get minus x square. So here I have to give minus x square. So when we multiply we get x power 4 minus uh, 0 x cube plus uh, sorry minus 2 x square. Now let's change the sign. It becomes minus plus and plus. So here these two gets cancelled and this is 0, 0. And here I'm left out with 2x square. I have to bring these two down. So minus 5x plus 6. So 2x square by minus x square. So x square, x square cancel and I get minus 2. So it becomes uh, minus into minus plus 2x square and uh, minus 0x and uh, minus 4. When we change the sign it becomes minus plus and plus.
this get cancelled here I get minus 5x plus 10 so the quotient is minus x square minus 2 and the remainder is minus 5x plus 10 Next, we are moving into exercise 2.3, second question, second subdivision. Here, what we have to do is divide the second polynomial with first polynomial to check whether this first polynomial is a factor of this polynomial or not. This we can check by division method. While dividing, if we get the remainder as 0, then this is the factor of this polynomial. If we don't get 0, then this is not a factor of this polynomial. So, let's start the division method. So, for division method, we will put the second polynomial inside. So, 3x power 4 plus 5x cube minus 7x squared plus 2x plus 2. So, here you have to check whether the powers of x are in the descending order 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Here, x square plus 3x plus 1. Okay, what we have to do is similarly, we will be in the before we saw that we will divide this term, this first term. So, 3x power 4 by x square so square square gets cancelled and 2 will be remaining so 3x square so 3x square x square into 3x square is 3x power 4 3x into 3x square is plus 3x cube sorry 9x cube 1 into 3 is plus 3x square now we have to change the sign so this plus will become minus, this plus will become minus and here also minus. So, these both gets cancelled. 5 minus 9 is minus 4x cube. Minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10x square. Now, I will bring this plus 2x down. Okay, again we are going to divide this and this. So, minus 4x cube divided by x square. So, x square, x cube gets cancelled and only 1x will be remaining. So, minus 4x. x square into minus 4x is minus 4x cube plus 3x into minus 4x is minus 12x square. 1 into minus 4 is minus 4x. Now, we have to change the signs. So, these both get cancelled. Minus 10 plus 12 is 2x square plus 2 plus 4 is plus 6x and now I will bring this 2 down. Now again we are going to divide this term and this term. So 2x square divided by x square. x square x square get cancelled and we get 2 so plus 2. So x square into 2 is 2x square. 3x into 2 is plus 6x plus 1 into 2 is 2. Now we are going to change the sign. So this plus will become minus, minus, minus. So these both get cancelled, these both get cancelled and these both get cancelled and we get 0 as reminder. So when we get 0 as reminder, we know that the first polynomial is the factor of second polynomial. Now let's do another sum. Here Again, we are going to do division method. So, x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. x cube minus 3x plus 1. When we divide x power 5 by x cube, so this 3 and 5 get cancelled and we get x square remaining. So, x square. So, x into x square is x power 5 minus 3x into x square is minus 3x cube, 1 into x square is plus x square. Now we are going to change the sign. So this plus will become minus plus minus. Now these two gets cancelled. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus x cube. Plus x square minus x square gets cancelled. And we are going to bring this both down. So plus 3x plus 1. Now you see we are going to divide this both so minus x cube by x cube gets cancelled and we get minus 1 so minus 1 
So x cube into minus 1 is minus x cube minus 3x into minus 1 is plus 3x plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Now we are going to change the sign so this will become plus minus plus. So these both get cancelled, these both get cancelled, 1 plus 1 is 2. Here we don't get the remainder as 0, instead we get some number that is 2. So from this we can know that the first polynomial is not a factor of second polynomial.